Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzu7 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. The third one we're making for today. The player owned farm update is actually pretty compl complex, and uh, I didn't really cover everything in my other two videos, so I wanted to make this last video uh, pretty much at the very end of the day to go over everything that I now know and everything that is generally known uh, in the community about the player owned farms. Um, I won't really be showing too much on the screen. I'm currently at the Ark on an uncharted island picking from the uh, mushroom clusters, and this is something that I'm sure several of you have been doing if you've been keeping up with the latest uh, on the player owned farms and what you should be doing to get the best uh, beans or whatever or the most amount of beans you can um, ideally most people would be just going for the comp requirement uh, or sprinting for the comp requirement at the start so that's probably what most people are worried about but yeah either way um, I'm just going to go over pretty much everything. Uh, I, I may repeat some stuff that you may already know or that may be obvious uh, or that I talked about in my other videos, but I just want to go through everything to make sure it's like all out there uh, in this video. So um, yeah, just as a, an overview, small pens can hold six animals, medium pens can hold four animals, and the large pens can hold three animals, while the breeding pen can hold four animals. So if you have two animals in the breeding pen and they have two children, there will not be any more children produced. You need to take them out of the breeding pen first so that you can get more uh, added into it. If it is full, they will not have any um, children, so that's definitely important. Uh, and then if you're looking to get the most bean profit for your animals, you want to sell them at adolescent level. So most animals start out as either eggs or babies, and um, the eggs will t uh, turn into babies as their second level usually and then the babies turn into adolescents and it's at that point that you if you want to sell them for the most profit and you don't want to breed them then you pull them out of the farm right then and there so they stop aging um, and then sell them to the appropriate person for that amount uh, that amount that'll be the maximum amount you can get for that animal uh, as long as the person is looking for that type and everything like that um, but that is very important to know. Uh, you don't, if you're looking to get a lot of bean profit, you don't want to let your animals get to adults or um, elder stages. But it is also important to know that animals uh, can breed at any level at adolescent plus, including elder. And once they are an elder, they will not age any further than that. Uh, and they will not die at any point unless they have that one trait that makes it possible for them to die, but that is pretty rare as far as I know. Um, but yeah, adolescent is what you're looking for to get the most beans for your buck if you're selling your animals. So definitely be aware of that. Uh, the best animals for getting beans overall are dragons, which are worth 2,000 beans as a base for, uh, I believe that's the adolescent version, would be 2,000 beans to sell. And then there's trait modifiers, breed modifiers, and stuff like that that you can get uh, to make that more, but not by much, I don't think. But if you sell a dragon at an adolescent stage, that is 2,000 beans. So technically, you could buy three dragons uh, and get them to adolescent and then sell them all and have enough for the comp requirement. Currently I've seen dragon eggs going for 30 mil plus usually depending on which type of dragon it is. Blue dragons are a little bit lower, reds are a bit higher than that, and then black dragons are I think the most. But yeah, that is pretty good though if you just want to shell out the money to get the comp requirement. But the only problem is Dragons take a very long time to grow overall. Uh, they take a week total to grow from the very beginning to an elder. So obviously if you're going for adolescent, it won't take as long at all. It'll only take a day, maybe two. Um, so you could definitely just buy those three dragon eggs and get your comp requirement out of the way tomorrow. Uh, well, not tomorrow, but on Wednesday. And I'll explain why that is the case in a little bit as well. Um, there are some new items related to the beehives called honeycombs which uh, you can feed to your animals to increase their statistics. There's one type of honeycomb for each statistic and you can put flowers into the beehives to get 
Um, well, actually, I, you can just put flyers in the beehives. I don't personally know how it works yet fully, and I haven't seen anybody posting who knows how it works fully. Um, all I know is you can put flowers in there and it's going to take a little while for the honey to be actually produced, but we don't really know how long just yet, but that is uh, definitely important to know. Um, so, and then zygomites, which are something a lot of people have wanted, uh, can be obtained from several different ways. Uh, farming mushrooms, like morcella mushrooms and stuff like that. Um, doing what I'm doing right now, which is the arc uh, mushrooms. And also if you're getting Mortmeyer mushrooms from the logs, I don't think the chance is very good on that though. The best chance you want for zygomites is coming here and foraging the mushroom clusters. This is my fifth mushroom cluster and I've only had one zygomite, which is a bit unlucky based on what I've heard other people say. Um, but still, it is uh, pretty rare to get, but they, they are going for around 20 mil at the moment. So if you do want to sell them, you can do that. Um, or if you want to buy them instead of spending time on the ARC, you can do that as well. But zygomites are pretty important currently, but only if you were prepared in advance. Uh, at, at this point, the zygomites won't be as important to you um, if you hadn't already gotten one. Um, and I'll explain why again in a little bit here. Uh, there is a summoning item from dragons that is like an egg that you can turn into a dragon pet. Don't confuse that for the actual item that you need for the uh, the farm. If, if, if it's the dragon you need for the farm, it will say unchecked in parentheses at the end of it, meaning that it is actually for the farm. And be careful because I, I, I'm pretty sure it, does, it doesn't matter what level of the, like if it's a dragon or what, if you have ticked off the box to not warn you when checking an animal, if you click on the dragon, it'll just check it and you won't be able to trade it. So definitely be careful with that if you are trying to sell your drops that you get for, for the farm. Um, one kind of interesting thing for those of you who aren't maxed or high level, uh, you can get assisted to build the pens, which is, I guess, I mean, kind of interesting uh, for sure, but I don't think that's going to be super important uh, for most people. This is a pretty, this is like a really significant thing right here that uh, they revealed. So each day there will be a new buyer for the small pens. So that that is kind of... Um, I'll explain how it works basically. So you can put rabbits, chickens, and chinchampas in the small pens. And the best um, animal to put in is the chinchampas for sure. Um, they are the they are better than the rabbits and the chickens. But rabbits are the worst, chickens are the middle, and then chinchampas are the best for the small pen. Now every day at reset, depending on what you have within your small pen, a new person will come who will buy that animal that you have in your small pen. So if you have rabbits in there, it'll be the person who wants to buy rabbits. But if you have chinchampas in there, the person will want to buy chinchampas, the person who comes for the small pens. So this is extremely important as you need to have the right animals in your pens to influence the merchant that comes to your farm each day to buy your animals. Um, and it's actually a little bit different for the medium and the large pens. So they're, they're uh, there's going to be three merchants on the farm at all times unless you dismiss them or I think if you complete their contracts completely they'll leave I don't know 100% though but um, basically uh, there are also there are three things that also can be put in the medium pen that is the sheeps the spiders and the zygomites going in order from worst to best so to Today at reset, or like yesterday at reset, whatever you want to say, about three hours ago from when I'm recording this video, the first medium merchant or medium pen merchant showed up on everyone's farm. And if you had something in the medium pen, the person who came would be wanting to buy that thing. Otherwise, it would. if you don't have anything in the pen, it defaults to the worst possible option. So if you don't have anything in the small pen, the merchant defaults to rabbits. If you don't have anything in the medium pen, it defaults to sheeps. So uh, what you wanted to do if you were trying to go as hard as you could and get the comp requirement is you wanted to have a zygomite in your medium pen at reset so the person who came to your farm would be willing to buy zygomites and that's what I did um, and I'm pretty sure you can have the same merchant come multiple times in a row so 
the medium merchant only switches every two days the small merchant switches every single day and then the large merchant switches every three days and we're not going to see a large merchant until tomorrow at reset so if you want to sell your dragons get a dragon in your large pen before reset tomorrow so that the dragon merchant will come and if you don't put anything in your large pen you'll get the cow merchant which um, you don't necessarily want because dragons would be way better for the bean profit if that's what you're going for again it depends on what you're really out to get from doing this but this is just based off of most people wanting to get those music tracks for comp cape uh, and then you can put cows yaks and dragons in the large pen so that's basically how it is like essentially if you're looking to have the best merchants at all times you'll want to have at least one chinchampa in your small pen at least one zygomite in your medium pen and one dragon in your large pen if you have, uh, like, say you have chinchampas in one of your small pens and then rabbits in another, it's just a 50-50 chance at which one you get. So even if you're trying to, like, grow some rabbits or breed some rabbits to get some of the collection log or something, take them out before you get the, uh, the reset happening because it'll perhaps make your merchant be one that you don't want. So that is a really important thing to understand with this farm is you can and should influence the merchants that come. It is a bit annoying to me that they um, you, get, you have to wait for certain like you know you, you just have to wait a day or a couple days if you want to switch what you're breeding or you know sell some things that you couldn't you know sell. I don't know it's just it is a bit annoying personally but uh, that is the way it works so it's important to understand that and you definitely need to uh, be influencing that so if you missed out on the zygomites today um, then on let me think on th on Wednesday at reset so like Wednesday at midnight game time or I guess Thursday morning whichever way you want to say it that is when the medium pens will switch again so you want to get a zygomite in one of your medium pens before that point so yeah um, and the, the medium and large pen buyers will stay so like tomorrow at reset the medium pen is not going to be switching so it will stay as whatever you got at reset today so that's basically what it's going to work how it's going to work so um, yeah Essentially, like I said, uh, chinchampas, zygomites, and dragons is what you want to do with the uh, to, to influence it. <clears throat> so, yeah, and if you want to get comp back without actually buying the season thingy, I'm not sure what it's called, but it costs 5,000 beans. Um, it'll be seven months before you can get comp back because right now it's summer. So you got the summer music track. It's just about to be fall, really. So the fall music track will be unlocked, and then you have to wait for the winter and spring. So you have to you'd have to wait until spring from now to get all of the music tracks if you didn't want to uh, buy the thing. So obviously people aren't going to want to do that at all. Uh, it's also important to note if you do have zygomites, they need to be fed mushrooms which can be, I'm pretty sure, any type of mushroom. The arc mushrooms also work if you want to use those. Um, so that's important to know. Uh, just make sure you get their food in there, the appropriate food. Uh, and then, like I was saying before, adolescents are the best. Um, you want to sell them for uh, for the most bean profit. You want to sell your animals at adolescent level. Now, the um, the way it works is it slowly decreases in cost, or it slowly decreases in bean profit or whatever for the older your animal gets, but it also isn't as good to sell super young animals so you get the best uh, price if it's an adolescent but if you if you let it get to be an adult you'll only get 85 percent of that so it's not a huge loss and if you let it go all the way up to an elder you'll lose 30 percent so you get 70 percent of the base cost which isn't even that big of a deal but it is pretty significant for things like dragons where their base cost is 2,000 um, but then if you try to sell it as a baby, you'll only get 20% of the base cost, which is not worth doing at all. And then 10% if you try to sell it as an egg. So at least let your animals get to adolescent or higher before selling them, because otherwise it is a waste of time uh, to even do it, for sure. I, would ne I definitely not want to do that. Um, and then if you want your animals to be breeding more often, you want them to have that virile trait that one of mine had right away or studly those are two good traits to see on your animals and also um, 
you'd like to see, I think it's called genetic mutation because that would let you get more uh, traits on subsequent uh, breedings and that would hopefully, you know, end up giving you a better chance at getting a really good one that would breed a lot and have good traits um, or something like that. Uh, the age of the animal doesn't matter in terms of its breeding uh, capabilities. So adolescent through elder can all breed at the same rate and same quality. So that is important to know. Uh, they also mentioned the amount of farming XP you get from a full growth of a dragon from baby to elder, which is one week. And that is 200k farming XP. So say you were really in it for the farming XP. Uh, if you wanted, you could do six dragons a week and that would get you 1.2 mil farming XP every week, which is a decent uh, amount, although it is over a quite a long time frame. I'm not sure uh, how import, like how significant that would be in terms of farming rates uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, to get the ultra compost, you need to get the dragon dung or the dragon manure. So when you have dragons in the large pen, they'll produce dragon manure, and you can put that into uh, or you can turn that into the ultra compost and then the green manure that you see around can be used to make super compost actually so that's uh, pretty significant uh, something that people were conspiring about for a little bit uh, is the KBD and the QBD for their egg drops neither of them drops the royal dragon egg you have to breed for the royal dragon egg um, the KBD and QBD both drop the normal black dragon eggs uh, so Nothing super interesting to know about that. <coughs> uh, in terms of the spirit versions of animals, I think there's like a spirit yak and maybe a spirit spider. Uh, the way you get those, as far as I can tell, is infusing summoning pouches. So pack yak pouches and also spirit spiders, I think, is a pouch. So that's interesting. I haven't seen anybody I know actually doing that or getting those, but that is uh, important to definitely consider if you're trying to get all of the animals you might have to do some summoning even uh, so that is pretty uh, again pretty important to keep in mind uh, and as for that I think that is pretty much it for all the stuff you know all the significant details that people know about the player owned farms at this point um, if you guys know anything I forgot please leave it down in the comments below uh, I really appreciate it. I think that this update is really cool, to be honest. I, I really have enjoyed, uh, you know, just messing around with everything, especially with the uh, the bees, trying to figure out, you know, how they work and what the deal is with those. Um, I definitely enjoyed, you know, uh, just, you know, getting in on the ground floor with this update because I don't really get to do that a whole lot because I usually work on Monday update days. But today I obviously had off because it is the uh, Labor Day in, uh, in here in the North American United States. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it though. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing. Someone actually left the comment on my video saying this, so I appreciate that. Uh, Scar10, he told me that uh, if you have an Araxite spider, uh, an, an Araxite elder spider in a pen and you have the farming totem active for that pen, you get a permanent damage boost against spiders, including a Raxor. So that's pretty significant. Uh, there's a perk that you get for an elder uh, animal being in a pen if if you have the, the totem active. So I'm not sure what all those perks are. Um, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what is like the best things to get and have within your farm. But that sounds pretty good for people who camp a Raxor or do it a lot. Definitely would want to, you know, grab that perk uh, so I'm not sure the best way to get these spiders but I think there are some in the stronghold of player safety or security that you can kill to get the um, that you could probably kill to get the their eggs as uh, the spiders do drop eggs as uh, as their like pet or whatever drop uh, okay so I'm done this is actually my I claimed this island because it has two mushroom clusters so I can still do the other one uh, today, but I'm gonna go just to my farm really quick just to show you guys what I've got going on here for the end of the video really quick. Uh, so I'm still growing rabbits because I still have the rabbit buyer. I didn't do the chinchampas unfortunately. Um, is this okay? Th these ones I have I, I've kind of fucked these ones up because uh, they're elders. Oh, whoops. Um, 
because I, I just kind of wasn't paying attention to these ones while they were in here uh, a little bit, but they were both pretty bad, uh, so I'm not too worried about it, and I'm just going to sell them to this person really quick. So I, the, the bunnies really don't sell for that much, so it's not super important to worry about them, but you guys can see here, this is my Zagamite that I got myself. I got it from the Ark, uh, and he's in here. He's been in here for quite a while, and he's still a baby, which is kind of weird. Um, I do have mushrooms in the trough there so that's I mean I can't I can't really do anything else to make him happier I'm not sure what the deal is with his health and stuff like the they don't really give you a whole lot of info on these stats but yeah his name's Trevor he's chilling in here he's he's been in there like I said for quite a few hours at this point and he's still a baby so these things clearly take a while to um, to grow but yeah and then I just have my rabbits in here breeding um, Let's see what they've got now. We've got a new child who is hyperactive. That is not uh, going to be super useful, I don't think, faster than most others. I have a pretty good one in here. Uh, that's this one, Jill. She has uh, vi virile, so she breathes more often, and then also she has the ability to give mul more, more often give multiple traits to offspring, so that's pretty good. Um, and then the other one is just a regular, it's just robust. Oh, I actually need to fill their uh, food thing, so I'll do that. But yeah, I mean, that's this is pretty much what I'm going with. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a second Zygomite uh, for sure, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that from the Ark or not. Um, but I definitely want to um, consider buying a dragon for tomorrow's reset and to put in my large pen to attract the dragon buyer because um, that I think might be a good thing to do to try and get some more beans. Uh, I'm currently at only 94 beans. I have 8.2k of the fragments. You do get a lot of the fragments from doing the arc for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot of beans, uh, and I'm still missing a medium and large pen deed. But you know, it is uh, it is going to be a you know it's kind of a longer term update for sure. I'm going to be doing it a lot, you know, and it's pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think. Again, if I forgot anything, let me know uh, in the comments, and I'll try and you know put it in the description or something. Oh, they just had another child. Nice. Um, oh no, maybe they didn't. No, they didn't. That was just from when I first came here. Surprised there wasn't any other chat messages in that time, but yeah, either way you guys, uh, thanks for checking out the video. I hope this helped you out a little bit, clar clarified some things a little, um, and I'll definitely put it like in a comment or in the description if I see anything or something comes up that gives any more details on the beehives here because that honey could potentially be pretty useful for keeping your animals healthy and happy. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Collection King. Peace out.